हेलो किड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूनिट नंबर सिक्स आर एनवायरमेंट चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन आर एनवायरमेंट सो लेट्स रिवाइज हियर इज द पिक्चर ऑफ द वाटर साइकिल टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसेस दैट अकर इन द वाटर साइकिल यू कैन सी अ पिक्चर ऑफ वाटर साइकिल राइट डाउन अबाउट वाटर साइकिल इन द स्पेस गिव इट बिलो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन All of us know that water is essential for life. Water is used for many purposes like drinking, bath, watering our plants and irrigation of our crops. It is present in very less quantity and is rapidly becoming scarce. Our lakes and rivers are drying up fast. Level of ground water called water table is decreasing day by day. We all should make efforts to conserve water. Let's see sources of water in ancient India. Evidences have shown that the practice of water conservation was followed by people in ancient times too. People built structures to store monsoon rainfall water for use in the dry season. Let us learn about some of them. Here are wheelies. Wheelies or step wells were circular or rectangular in shape with steps on all side. They were generally built by nobles of the area. Wheelies were used to store rainwater. they were used for drinking purposes and on social gathering sometimes rooms were built on their sides which were used by the travelers as resting places everyone in the village could draw water from these wheelies you can see in this picture wheelies now johars johars were used to conserve and recharge ground water They were built in areas having a natural elevation. A storage pit was made by digging the area on three sides and a wall was built on the fourth side. Sometimes several johars were interconnected by canals. You can see in this picture a johar. Now kuhis. Kuhis are mainly used in higher regions of Himachal Pradesh to carry glacial water from rivers and streams to the fields. Channels are dug to carry water for irrigation. You can see in this picture. Now, sources of water in modern times. In villages, the main sources of water are wells, hand pumps, rivers, ponds, and lakes. Some of these structures lie on the outskirts of villages or at a long distance. People have to walk for miles to get water. Often, they have to stand in long queues. to get water however many villages have pipelines now which supply water directly to their homes you can see in this picture a girl using hand pump in towns and cities water from rivers is purified and stored in large tanks from here water is taken to our houses through a network of pipes our houses have water tanks for water storage from these tanks water reaches our taps through pipes now let's see water for irrigation Irrigation is the supply of water to crops at required intervals. Irrigation helps the crop to grow well. Different crops needs different amounts of water. Some crops like wheat and maize require less water, while crops like rice and sugarcane require more water. In earlier times, rain was the main source of water for crops. However, many more methods of irrigation were developed over time. Let us learn about some of them. Now, let's see wells. Wells are deep holes dug in the ground to get underground water. Different methods are used to draw water from wells. The simplest method is the use of a bucket and a rope. The bucket is lowered in the well with the help of a pulley. It is also used to pull it out when it is filled with water. Another method to draw water from wells is the use of water wheel. It consists of a wheel made of wood or metal having a number of buckets. arranged on its outer rim when a bucket fills with water it moves downwards this moves the wheel and more buckets are filled as the wheel moves the water in the buckets is thrown on the other sides and is taken to the fields through water channels water wheels are also used to grind grains beating wood into pulp and for hammering wrought iron you can see in this picture well and water wheels now the next is canals Canals are channels which are dug to take water from water bodies like rivers and ponds to the field. Next is tanks. Tanks are large storage areas dug in the ground to collect rainwater. They are more commonly used in uneven and rocky deccan plateau. Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. Tube wells. Sometimes water lies very deep under the ground. To draw it, 
very deep holes are dug and water is polluted out through the pipes by the use of a motor. Such wells are called tube wells. Now, properties of water. Here are some properties of water. Water exists in three forms that is solid, ice, liquid, drinking water and gas, water vapors. Water is a colorless, tasteless and odorless liquid. Water has no fixed shape. However, it has a fixed volume. Now, water dissolves things. Some things can mix or dissolve in water. They are said to be soluble in water. Some examples of things which are soluble in water are salt, sugar, milk and coffee powder. Some things cannot dissolve in water. They are said to be insoluble in water. Some examples of things which are insoluble in water are sand, chalk and oil. You can see in this picture, lemon juice and sugar in water. Stir it. Now you can see a lemonade. Solution. When a thing dissolves completely in water, a solution is formed. The thing present in lesser quantity in a solution is called a solute, while the thing present in a large quantity is called solvent. Now let's see the fascinating fact. Water is known as the universal solvent because it can dissolve most of the things in it. Now, next topic is things float or sink in water. Some things float on water while others may sink. Things which float on water are thermocol, wood, oil, plastic cup and paper pieces. Things which will sink in water include coins, iron nails, stones and steel spoons. In general, Objects which are denser than water will sink in it, while the objects which are less dense than water will float in it. Now, we have an activity to do. Take things like pieces of chalk, stone, pencil, pen, thermocol piece, coin, wood, rubber ball, iron nail and a plastic toy. Put them in a tub of full of water. One by one, observe which things float or sink in water. Write down things which float on water and here, things which sink in water. In this way, do this activity by our own. Thank you kids. Bye-bye.